Doing whiskey came by Sunday. Gave ten points on the Colts. Well, he looked just like Ted Bundy did the day he ate the vaults. Doing Florida time. Doing Florida time. In the eighties, a housing development site off Cape Canaveral in Florida became a highly publicized archaeological site. The Windover peat bog has the perfect preservation material with its pH neutral environment and coincidentally an ancient burial ground for early archaic Native Americans. That's in the 6000s BC before the Egyptian pyramids. The archaeological dig recovered skeletal remains of 168 individuals. With these individuals came a wealth of unprecedented information. Even their brains were well preserved for DNA analysis. As interesting as 7,000 year old brains are, handwoven goods is particularly interested in the significant number of handwoven artifacts found petified with all those skeletal remains. Scientists developed an innovative method of coating the weavings in perylene, a molecular glue, and freeze drying them for future generations to be able to study. Palm fibers were extracted and processed by tools or even with their teeth, chewing the fibers until they could be twisted. One grave yielded a cache of bone needles and possible bone weft packing tool, perhaps from the bag found nearby. Textiles were almost certainly produced on some type of fixed frame loom that was staked horizontally without heddles, or with a backstrap loom and approached with a different posture to achieve the three weft rows parallel to the long axis of the body of the weaver. Now I'm doing Florida time. Woven items found include basketry, opened twined mats, a possible hood, a bag or cap, close twined globular bags, one of which had a drawstring, and intentionally produced mortuary shrouds. Stakes were used with the mortuary shroud to affix the dead at the bottom of the bog. The tops of the stakes were above water level to mark the grave. Researchers noticed that burial shrouds had different warp diameters, but all the same warp di diameters were in the same sections of the bog. They feel this suggests different groups of weavers within a single population and that each of these groups had assigned burial plots within the bog. Though not the oldest fiber-based productions, the Windover twined and plain weave textiles are the most ancient examples of their type in North America, if not the entire Western Hemisphere. The complexity of the weaving suggests that it is not the beginning of hand weaving in North America, but a representation of a continuing evolution of weaving with very ancient roots. The findings of these weavings challenged our understandings of Southeast Native Americans. Such labor-intensive hand weaving has profound implications for group mobility, division and organization of labor, seasonality and subsistence practices, personal status, and a wide range of other issues. Hi, I'm Holly Latta of Handwoven Goods, and I'm here at the Brevard Museum with Nancy Rader, Executive Director. And Nancy, thank you very much for having us over here today. Oh, we're so glad you came, and we appreciate the word getting out about our, our museum. So the Wendover Bog people, you have lots of visitors coming to come see that. Can you tell us about some, some of the interesting people that have come to see your bog people? Yes, uh, three weeks ago we had a man from uh, Germany that uh, he brought his sister that lived 50 miles away and he came specifically all the way from Germany to see our Wendover exhibit. And then uh, a few weeks before that we had a man come from Colorado that was an archaeologist and he came specifically to see our Wendover exhibit. And so uh, I love to hear the stories. I'm usually up front because we only have a staff of two 
and uh, the rest are all volunteers that keep this museum going. So if anybody shows in that door, I'm the one that they usually see, and you tell me where you come and how you heard about it, I love it. I love to hear the, how people have heard about our museum. Fantastic. So people watching this blog right now, they want, can't come out to visit you, but they want to help out you and your volunteers. How can they help out? Okay, uh, just write a check to Bavar Museum, uh, and it, the address is 2201 Michigan Avenue, Cocoa, Florida, 32926, and we would be greatly appreciative. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right.